So this is a series of seven swims in the seven seas, and these are the Mediterranean, the Adriatic, the Aegean, the Black Sea, the Red Sea, the Arabian Sea, and then the last swim is in the North Sea. And all of these seas are amongst the most polluted and overfished seas in the whole world. And uh, the Mediterranean, the major issue here is, is, is overfishing. I grew up, I spent uh, a year as a young boy growing up on the island of Malta, and I remember as a young boy listening to fishermen coming past the house shouting Lampuki, Lampuki, which is a type of, of Dorado, same Dorado. Over 90%, over 90%, it's an amazing and frightening statistic, over 90% of fish in the Mediterranean now overexploited. Bluefin tuna, down to 50% of their original levels. Okay. And if we carry on like this, I mean, it's just not sustainable. Yeah. And one needs to do something about it. One needs to do something about it urgently now. You have exactly two kilometers from here to here. Very, very far. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, we make five and five. Swim out five, back five. Both and come back in Monaco to manage The problem is Monaco. This is no simple task. This is no simple task. Uh, there are a lot of interest groups here. Uh, it takes time to get legislation through Parliament. It takes time to persuade policymakers how important it is. Okay. Thank you. Turn it round and we'll go back in past the big ship. He'll have done 10k 10Ks, which is the key thing. It's getting quite lumpy. Well done. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh dear. <sighs> Turn it off. Okay. Right turn! We reached halfway, um, so five, five out. Um, and I have left a uh, hundred, hundred meters leeway so that we can take some shots because I think it's quite interesting to see the how tightly everything is down to the water. By the time we get to Oman, we'll be swimming against a desert scenario. Huge difference to this. So rough. What is the fishing like around here? Is it getting overfished? I think all the ocean and all the seas are overfished. Yeah. That's the problem. That because um, I decided in 2002 yeah. um, to build a school, not defending the ocean, but to um, teach the children from eight years old that what is important for their future, their present and their future, is to understand how the ocean and the life and the sea life is managed yeah. by the nature. Everybody has to understand that he has a big impact on the environment and on the sea. But it's very difficult for people to understand that because now they have everything. Uh, if they want to change the things, they have to think about having less. We saw that in 72 and 75 in Monaco, we created a big um, reserve. And we have more fish than everywhere in the in the coast. Big, big so it's right. very interesting to have a, a protected area. And the demand on resources, especially from the oceans, is just growing year on year on year. Yeah. And the, the, the wonderful thing about marine protected areas is that they protect habitats, obviously, they protect fish stocks, and they're fantastic for local economies. Because what we know is that where 
Marine protected areas have been implemented properly around the world. Fish stocks actually recover quite quickly. And then they overflow into other areas and then fishermen are able to, to, to harvest, harvest that stock. Congratulations. Thank you. I hope it wasn't too choppy out there. No, it's beautiful and warm. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thank you. It's the first uh, warm water swim I've done since 2007. I can tell you something, I've missed it. <laughs> if we try to lessen our impact, the, the human impact on, on our environment, but especially on our marine environment in this case, uh, well, well, we will be much better off. And so it's important that uh, with people like, like Lewis and, and, and his endeavors uh, that we get those uh, kinds of messages across and that uh, the awareness is raised through these uh, incredible achievements of his. So the swims are one thing. You know, I'm confident and quite confident I'm going to be able to do all these swims in all the seven seas. You know, we've got to try and persuade policymakers around all these seas how important this is. That we care about what's happening in the oceans, that we care about the overfishing, and try and persuade them to get the legislation through their parliaments and to properly protect these oceans. It's really as simple as that. That was otherwise known as the sausage roll. Ha, 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 ha.